Oh, oh, oh. hope he gets laid. Well, uh, it's true that it, it went through my mind. So it's the eighth season of Happy Days. Uh, you have already at this point had as much success as any child actor could possibly have. Um, yet you make the pretty extraordinary decision to leave the show right. to pursue directing. Yeah. Why? Well, um, the, the entire time that I was that I was under contract and doing Happy Days, my dream was to be a filmmaker. And I felt like that the clock was ticking a little bit on me. I was 26, 27, and, I, and I'd been directing for a few years. And I was just, I'd, I'd um, you know, I'd lost patience with not being able to devote you know, all my energies to making that transition and giving that its, its chance. A lot of it just came from the fact that um, I, I really wanted some guarantees from Paramount Pictures and, and ABC that they would that they would allow me to direct. Not Happy Days. We had a great director, Jerry Paris. I wanted to direct a feature, and I wanted them to facilitate that. And they simply would not make any kind of guarantee. How much truth is there, really, to Opie gets laid? Oh, <laughs> Opie gets laid. Well, uh, it's true that it it went through my mind. Um, it it uh, endured at a serious, as a serious idea for probably about two and a half to three seconds. You know, yeah, Opie gets laid would have would have probably made Ron a million dollars, and he could have gone off and made a movie. But I'm glad he just he steered away from that because I don't think anybody really wanted to see Opie get laid. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times in life. Um, I'll think about the fact that my dad has a public profile that isn't embarrassing, is massive. And if he had done Opie Gets Laid, it's just, <laughs> I just, I wouldn't be in this business. <laughs> Good joke. Great for the Letterman show. But do, do you think that the fact that uh, Paramount wouldn't make that guarantee to you, looking back, is the best thing that could have ever happened? I was already in motion. If, okay. if, if, they, had, if they had made those commitments, I would have done the show okay. and made the movies. Okay. I might not have fallen in, in step with Brian. Um, and uh, and I, think, uh, you know, I think that partnership has really you know, been a huge defining factor in my in my um, in my career as a director. Why is directing less exhausting to you than acting? Um, I thought I was naturalistic. I thought I had good comedy timing. I thought I was a good soldier, but I didn't feel particularly creative acting. As soon as I began directing, I felt like I'm I'm this is what I'm really suited for. I'm a more creative person when I'm working behind the camera than I ever, ever was in front of it. I know you call yourself an actor's director. Uh, Brian, though, says, too, there is a point at which you will shut an actor down, regardless of their, their stature, if you were adamant in your creative vision. You know, I'm the keeper of the story. So if, if, a, if, an, act, if an actor isn't realizing a pivotal moment, a key moment that's a building block toward realizing the, the potential of the story, then I, that's where I have to intervene. And um, You'll do what? It's easier now that I, with my resume and, and credentials and so forth behind. But um, just dig in and say, you know, we need this moment. But the other thing is, is that if you demonstrate over and over a, a leadership style, which is, which which covets input, which is excited uh, by other people's ideas, and people recognize that you're thrilled to say yes to an idea that that works. Early on, I was so terrified that I I was the youngest person on the set, with with all the responsibility, and and I I kind of had to sh I couldn't afford to ever show any weakness. I thought that, that meant I had to have all the answers. And when I began to, to recognize that, that I could create back and forth a creative interaction that could up my game and, and bring out more of you know, the actors or great cinematographers, 
production designers, editors, composers, then you know my work got a lot better.